what's really important about how we move forward here is solving capability. Mm. Uh, and I think you're absolutely right about the, the way you talk about code there, that it's it's an embodiment of the ethical uh, mindset of the place that, that develops it. And we will come up against adversaries that don't share the same ethical values that we do. Right? Uh, that shouldn't mean that we lower our standards to fight those, even when it's machine on machine. Exactly. And so for me, doing this right from the ground up, developing, uh, if we look at this in a military context, you know, elements of the Geneva Convention, for example, that actually address the use of these kind of systems, um, that we have proper rules and regulations around how we're going to deploy them, what they are allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do, where a human has to be involved, I say on the loop, or we have to be in the loop, they might not have control of the system, but ultimately they make a decision based on the information it gives them, when it might be to do with taking human life, things like that are really, really important to get right now. Uh, and, and we'll, you know, if we, we only have to get this wrong once, um, the damage that can do to a sovereign state because of the action that was taken by a system, when that's exploited by other state actors, is huge. And we can't afford for that to happen either. So there is a huge amount of things that have to be put in place to make this, this work the, the, the way that it should. But the time is now, and yeah. the timelines are short. 